I'm Sheila Gunn-Reed for the Rebel.media. It's Saturday afternoon. I'm down here at the Alberta Legislature um, covering a yellow vest protest against Rachel Notley. There's about 150 yellow vesters. Some have come up from Calgary to join the event here today. You might be able to hear that dance music in the background. It looks like about 25 to 30 Antifa have shown up. Their mums must have been vacuuming this morning because it is Saturday, it's slightly afternoon and you know, this is a touch early for them. The sheriffs are on location here as well as the Edmonton City Police. They are keeping the peace. Um, there are some hectic discussions happening across the protest line between the Yellow Vesters and Antifa but everybody's doing a good job to uh, behave themselves, at least on the yellow vest side of the event, the event where I'm allowed to be in the side of the event where I'm safest. So I'm going to head into the event now. They have speakers right now, but I'm more concerned about speaking to the normal people who took the time out of their Saturday to be here. Um, it's the first sort of nice Saturday in a very long time so these people have other things they could be doing but this is obviously important to them so let's go check it out Rachel Lawley has called the yellow vest movement extremist and she's denounced it what do you have to say about that what I want to say is that she might be calling us racist, white supremacists, extremists, but if you just look on the other side of us right now, you're gonna see extreme. We're just trying to put a message out to educate Canadian people and help get our country back. We're not extreme, we're just, we want our country back. We're, the government's not listening. None of us want anything but what's best for Canada. I wanted to ask you about your sign. The the uh, friendly folks across the way are accusing the yellow vests of being uh, racist and fascist, but you clearly are against it. I'm totally against fascism. I'm totally against racism. We're not here. It's not all about racism. It's about being united. It's about our freedom. We definitely want immigration, but we want legal immigration. We don't want illegal immigration. We want people to come here that are vetted and go through the right procedures. That's all we're asking for, and we want to be united. Uh, those kids are brainwashed because they're not really, uh, they don't know the value of our freedom. That's why, like, uh, you know, uh, pe uh, t especially teachers from the, their school, brainwashing them, uh, saying that socialism is uh, the solution for the world problem. They are totally wrong about that. So we want like uh, freedom and democracy. Freedom and democracy is the best system in the world. We should keep it that way. And then if we have like the right leaders uh, in power, and then you know, uh, just work it out with that uh, system. One day we're gonna lead the world. Because uh, communism, socialism, they are really bad for our people. We don't want that. Because uh, you know, because of communism, um, because socialism, you see a lot of people live in poverty, living in fear. That's not good. Uh, well, you look around this group, you see all races in this group. We are not racist. Far from it. Uh, for myself, I look at them and I brush it off and laugh. Uh, CBC wanted to label me as, a, what do they say, a white nationalist, white supremacist, or uh, white supremacist, pardon me. Uh, I'm the farthest thing from it. I'm a contractor. Half my customers are immigrants. They're awesome people. That's not the issue. We're not racist. We're hardworking Canadians that are standing up and we are being heard. And uh, Rachel Notley should realize the whole country's listening. They're not listening to you, they're listening to us. Well, the speeches are just wrapping up here, but the protest is still going strong. As you saw earlier, Antifa couldn't even shut their mouths and shut down their music for the singing of the national anthem. And I think that says a lot about them. 
Uh, these people here, they don't feel that they're racist and they do resent what Rachel Notley has said about them. They feel slighted and maligned by their own premier and I think that's going to be reflective at the ballot box here this spring for Rachel Notley. Um, the protest is going to be wrapping up soon and I'm going to sneak away early before my friends in Antifa notice. For the Rebel Dot Media, I'm Sheila Gunry. I'm here reporting at the Yellow Vest protest at the Edmonton Legislature. I've been here for a couple hours and I don't see anybody from the mainstream media, although if they were here, you'd only get their skewed side of the story anyway. To support our independent journalism, treat yourself to a Rebel subscription today.